Hello everybody, my name is Nora. Today I will present paper related to social network and the title is Self-Supervised Hyperbolic Representation from Logical Queries over Knowledge Graph and this paper accepted at WW 2021. Uh, the author of this paper are Nurendra et al. Without further ado, I will start the presentation. This presentation has uh, five outlines. First one is uh, introduction, uh, second one is uh, background, the third is the uh, solution and after that I will explain about what kind of evaluation that the uh, author do and the last is a conclusion. So in the introduction part, we know that uh, knowledge graphs are a ubiquitous structure for information storage. Knowledge graphs have emerged as an attractive abstraction for organizing the structured knowledge of the world over the internet and a way to integrate information extracted from multiple data sources. It has uh, it also starting to play a central role in machine learning to combine word knowledge as a target representation for extract knowledge. KG or knowledge graph is beneficial in several real world applications such as web commerce, social network, uh, search engine, dialogue system, and recommendation system. The, uh, this knowledge graph is a direct uh, graph consisting of nodes representing concepts while link represent the relation between concepts. But the problem is querying KG remains a foundational and challenging problem due to their size and complexity. Can we imagine mostly of KG consists of more than 10 million and trillion of relations? So, to handling the query, it needs a higher cost and also high computational resource. Actually, representation learning can help this fundamental and challenging problem by learning representation for KG units like node and relation in Latin space, especially Euclidean such that algebraic or logical operation can be applied to extract relevant entities. For example, in the product search domain, a model will learn to translate uh, the product categories Nike, Adidas, and footwear to the Latin space, and we can use threshold around them to query results from the logical operation. So in this paper, the author focused on complex queries like positive first-order existential uh, queries, uh, PFOE, such as translation, intersection, and the union as a logical operator. One recently example of implementation of KG in Latin space is query to box, where author aims to learn box representation for the logical query. As we can observe from the figure, this introduces a special parameter which is able to increase the precision compared to the fixed threshold of our vectors. Query to box model each entity and relation as a hyper dimensional box and also define an intuitive to derive the translation, intersection, and union of the box. For example, translation is defined as the sum of the entity uh, and relation. The intersection is the overlapping space of two entities and union is overall space covered by the input entities. However, we note that this approach does not consider the inherent hierarchical present in knowledge graph. As we can see in figure that in product graphs, we notice different levels of hierarchy such as categories and brands. Another example is a categorization of articles in a Wikipedia or followers in Instagram where influence user would have more in not than out not. So the highlight idea of this paper is that uh, first they are motivated by the effectiveness of self supervising that can further provide and with features in downstream tasks with smaller annotated data sets such as anomaly detection, thus alleviating the issue of data scarcity. Second, although Ecclesian space have proven to be effective for representation learning in various domains, several hierarchical data sets, uh, including graph data, in the field of neuroscience and e-commerce taxonomy demonstrate a latent non-Ecclesian anatomy needs. 
Thus, they propose a self-supervised dynamic representation learning framework that utilizes PFOE queries to learn hyperbolic representation of KJ unit in a non-Euclidean point color hyperbole. So, it comes a question. Why can hyperbolic embedding achieve that advantage? It's because hyperbolic allow us to use dynamic size for knowledge graph representation. By using this dynamic computational graph, we can produce higher precision than static computational because the threshold value will be changed dynamically over a center of the hyperbolic space. Second reason is hyperbolic learn an additional special parameter called limit. The authors of this paper aim to compute hyperbolic for all entities and relation in the KG. They use the following directed edge relation derived from the knowledge graph to build their dynamic computational graph for learning embedding. Their idea is to add special parameter to learn the representation such that the positive sample move into the hyperboloid and the negative sample will be moved outside the hyperboloid. I will explain detail about it later. The third reason is to the dynamic nature of its computational graph, Hive, the proposed uh, algorithm, can learn different types of operations such as translation, intersection, and union, and process varying number of input units depending on the learning operation. Many researchers have a lot of interest to emphasize knowledge graph representation learning due to the effectivity and functionality of knowledge graph in real-world application. I recap the related work of this paper. As we can see in the figure that a lot of different approach to study the learning representation of knowledge graph. Uh, one of the fundamental strategy is uh, Using not embedding and not to fact and deep work is the most popular method in knowledge graph, but it has limitation that it doesn't effective at handling more complex PFOE query such as intersection and union. To overcome the limitation of the fundamental approach, researchers develop another method based on Euclidean embedding, such as translation based query, graph queries embedding, complex geometries, and multi-hop network. Most of this method using latent representation learning in knowledge graph. But it also has limitation that this method rely on properties of Euclidean space to learn representation. And it has been proved that this approach is not effective to tackle the hierarchical features of knowledge graph. And some researchers tried Gaussian embedding to tackle the hierarchical issue, but the problem is the Gaussian representation also cannot extend it to KG because they are not closed under more complex queries. Because of that, one of recent idea is to using hyperboloid embedding to, take, uh, to tackle the problem of the hierarchical uh, issue from Euclidean Latin representation in knowledge graph. This method proved efficient to handle hierarchical data, but unfortunately, this approach still handling queries in static ways and does not consider varying fluctuation of, uh, of a complex queries. So the author of this paper proposed a self-supervised learning of hyperboloid embedding approach that can leverage not only simple queries, but also queries, uh, complex queries like intersection and union and also can capture the hierarchical information. So since there are multiple, uh, multiple ways to represent a hyperbolic space, uh, there is a question which one was more advantageous for this particular application. Uh, for example, easier to compute and easier to use with. Uh, actually, hyperbolic space has advantages to use in hierarchical structured data set. Many researchers improving their performance of hyperbolic space in representation learning on the knowledge graph area. The popular algorithms are HGCN, 
and HAT, but the static computational graph limit the learning capability to a single problem, generally multi-hop translation reasoning. This fact severally limits their applicability to representation learning, learning on KG, since translation can only utilize single entities. And most hyperbolic space approach are difficult to compute because we have to calculate like advanced algebraic operations such as scalar product. However, their performance can outperform most learning representation approach, especially in hierarchical information and computational issue in a large size of knowledge graph. Yeah, so, uh, Hype, the news purpose of the author, offers a new contribution in terms of precision because this method utilizes a dynamic computational graph with varying entity size and this factor actually affects the algorithm performance and efficiency. So, to alleviate the challenge with previous approach, their proposed hyperbolic embedding and focus the, on the solving to the given challenge. The first, they need the representation to improve querying over knowledge graph and the representation need to capture both hierarchical and spatial information. And they also need the, to find the logical operation so we can use geometrics to learn our representation to handle the query simultaneously. And the last, Given the large scale of naturally collected knowledge graph dataset, they would prefer to develop a self-supervised approach and use an unlabeled uh, knowledge graph toward learning representation. So in first challenge uh, about the hierarchical and spatial information to model the spatial encoder. They model a queries as enclosure to two parallel hyperbolic segments of uh, or horror cycle in a Poincar box. And we can see in the figure that query to box after using an additional parameter to capture that information. We can observe that the distance between inter-level entities increase superlinearity uh, in the case of hyperbolic set, uh, space uh, than the Euclidean space. And we also notice that the leaf entities under the same parent get clustered together. This captures the real-world phenomena uh, where the distance between entities uh, different hierarchical level is supposed to be high and the entities under the same parent supposed to be get uh, closer together. Next challenge that they solve is how to handle the query types. The query type in this paper is the positive first order existential PFOE, such as translation, intersection, and union. So for translation, given the entity and relation uh, hyperboloids, they define the projection query space as a Mobius addition of entities and relation that provide us the translated hyperboloid with a new center and larger uh, limit. And for intersection, they return the overlapping space between the hyperboloid and for union, they return all the set. Like we can see in the example, a translation query knife will return all the product associated with the brand knife. And intersection between queries, knife, and footwear will return all the product, uh, uh, all the result of uh, for query knife footwear. And to handle unions, uh, they handle it as the set of all its input space, thus Union over Nike footwear and Adidas uh, over uh, and Adidas footwear will return all product contents in Nike and Adidas footwear. So I will briefly explain the proposed Hype architecture step by step. The architecture utilizes a switch mechanism to connect or disconnect different layers according to the query operator signal translation, intersection, and union. First step is they start the model by initialist entities and relation with random Euclidean box which they transform it into the point carbon space. And there is also input operator signal that define the network structure for that iteration. Like we can see in the figure that the blue 
red and green switch are connected or disconnected for translation intersection and operate uh, and union operation this manifold transformation technique allow us to describe well understood fast characteristic of simpler space with complex structure to transform Euclidean space into hyperbolic space they use Riemannian metric this is a Riemannian metric equation where G is equal to I being the Euclidean identity metric tensor and X is the Euclidean norm of, of the X and lambda is the conformal factor between the Euclidean and hyperbolic metric tensor set to a conventional curvature of minus 1. This equation allow us to convert an Euclidean metric to, uh, to hyperbolic so we can find the distance between point x and y. However, in Euclidean space, algebraic operations such as uh, simple addition and inner product cannot be applied directly to hyperbolic space. Therefore, they use gyro vector space to formalize this operation in hyperbolic uh, space. The gyro vector operation for point core ball of radius are Mobius addition, Mobius subtraction, exponential map, logarithmic map, and Mobius color product. The author used the manifold transformation to transform Euclidean space into hyperbolic space and overcome the translation based limitation where the translation approach only used a single entity and cannot be applied to hierarchical information structure. Next challenge is uh, how uh, the, the next step is uh, operate. According to the signal, uh, the model process the transform embedding into a query space. In case of translation, it adds the head entity to a corresponding relation. In case of intersection, it returns the overlapping space. The new center and limit are calculated by intention layer over the hyperbolic center and deep set for shrinking the limit. Or in union case, it will return the set of hyperboloid. Next, they calculate loss based on the distance uh, of all positive sample and negative samples from the query space that is done by hyperbolic version. They calculate two distance of the entities, uh, one from the center and another from the limit of the hyperboloid and they are combined with a fixed factor. The objective of their model is uh, to learn the representation such as the positive sample moved into the hyperboloid and the negative samples will move outside the hyperboloid. And after that, they update uh, the uh, their system back propagate through the loss to update their entity and relation imbalance. Uh, oh, however, if we want to encompass and process the entire knowledge graph, we cannot depend on manually manually labeled ground truth. So this is their motivation toward developing strategy that do not rely on manual annotation, as we know it as a self-supervised learning. The next challenge that they solve is self-supervising learning. So they utilize the entities and the relation in the training knowledge graph to make a pseudo queries. For example, we can see in the figure that the single entity has two parents, Nike, uh, Adidas as a footwear, and thus they model it as an intersection of two parents entities. The, and this resolves their dependence on explicit annotation. And we can now learn the representation in self-supervised manner. Next part is evaluation. They do an evaluation mechanism to answer their research question. First research question is for the task reasoning over KG, are hyperbolic embedding better than baseline and learning hierarchical relation? Second, what is the contribution of individual component in the hype model? And they do this uh, experiment through an ablation study. The third is 
do the representation capture relevant data feature for the downstream task of anomaly detection. Uh, the next is, can hyperboloid embedding leverage the auxiliary semantic information from the entities? And the last is, can we comprehend the latent representational space obtained by Provost Hype model? To answer the first research question, they consider the queries type of translation, intersection, and union. As we can observe in this figure, the author used one translation, two translation, and three translation that represent the children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren of an entity, and it also popularly known as a multi-hop operation. For intersection, they check the intersection between two and three entities and also how they work in conference with a translation operation. And for union, they consider for the union of two items and work in conference with a translation operation. For example, in one translation query night, we'll include all the products of brand night and the intersection query night shoes will return all products in under the brand night and also under the subcategory shoes. A union between Nike and Adidas will return all the products under the brand Nike or Adidas. And a union translation where Nike and Adidas shoes will return all products under the brand Nike or Adidas and also under the subcategory shoes. To do evaluation of efficiency uh, of the query search path of the proposed method, they use uh, the public benchmark data set of FreeBestNet, DBpedia, and also e-commerce product graph. And they use query to box as a baseline to compare with their hype results. And the evaluation metrics that they use are hits HK, which is the number of the correct answer in the first three results, and a mean reciprocal rank in RR to additional evaluate the rank given to the result. As we can observe from the table, this is a comparison performance of Hive against the best lens to study the efficiency of the query search path. The column presents the different query structure and averts over them. So, uh, the final row showed the average relative improvement of Hive compared to query to, books, uh, query to box over all data sets. E factor is a equation and H factor is a hyperboloic space, respectively. Best results for each data set are shown in bold. Overall, we can see that Hive outperforms the baseline model across all query types and data set, which proves the potential of hyperbolic space in query knowledge graph. To check the improvement of simultaneously learning from different query types, they compare their model uh, against variations based only on translation queries. As we can observe that the exclusion of intersection and union queries result in a significant performance decrease. The, uh, the proposed model used attention, but they test out deep, deep set aggression and also high uh, average. The test on different aggregation layers, uh, layers Prove that attention is better than average and deep sets by 23.5% and 14.5%. Additionally, they also check if uh, trainable curvature for point care ball to well performance, and we noticed that employing a tra trainable curvature result in a slight performance improving of the height. But they conclude that additional number of parameters does not justify the nominal gain. So because of that, they only use a fixed set of traditional radius of 1. In the case anomaly detection, they also evaluate the proposed method hype on anomaly detection uh, by utilizing the entity and relation representation trained on the DBpedia uh, hierarchical taxonomy and e-commerce product network with query processing tasks to identify products that might be anonymously categorized 
They use like evaluation metrics such as precision, recall, and F1 score. The primary objective is uh, in this experiment is given the parent entity and a candidate entity, and can the model predict if the page candidate entity is a child or not? To do that, they consider different level of parents. So we could check not only the parent-child relation and grandparent-child relation, we also can check the great-grandparent-child relation. As we can see in the table, the high performs better than baseline model. And also, as we can see, the best results are shown in the bold. It's a semantic collaboration and the second best result are on the line is a hype with semantic initiation. The author also tried to analyze if hype can also leverage semantic information by learning semantic factors from the product title in e-commerce product graph and can connect them to the hierarchical hyperbolic embedding. As we can see in the figure, uh, hype performs better than query to box. As we consider higher level of parents because hyperbolic space is better at capture hierarchical features. Also, hype semantic collaboration is able to utilize semantic information to improve prediction. The red color indicates the false prediction and the green color is a true prediction. We can conclude that additional semantic information is especially useful for product miscategorization. And to comprehend the embedding in the actual point card space, uh, the author also provides visualization of software from their data set. The hyperboloid has been scaled up 10 times for better comprehension. The blue is a intermediate node circle are annotated, annotated with their entity name and orange circle is a leaf node that depict article uh, and product in e-commerce graph and Wikipedia. As we can see, leaf entities are clustered together, various and intermediate nodes are farther from uh, each other. It's closely following the real-world structure phenomena. So we jump to the conclusion part of this paper. So the conclusion is, hyperbolic space is a better at simultaneously capturing spatial and hierarchical structure information by pseudo-querying the knowledge graph. And the ablation study shows that clear importance of using relative complex query such as intersection and union, and union enhancing high performance. And Hype representation also in conference with or without additional information such as semantic can also be used for downstream tasks or anomaly detection. And the last is the hyperbolic can also be visualized in point for walls for better human comprehension. Comprehension. So I think that's all for my presentation. Presentation and this is the reference that I used. Thank you so much and welcome for any comment and feedback. See you!